Oh la la la, come on, estas, come on, stand. Welcome back to another episode of um, my Mexico in Qatar World Cup series that we have uh, on FIFA 22. Um, as you know, uh, we've beat Mexico, uh, sorry, beat France 4 2 in the first knockout stage in the round of 16 uh, last episode. Uh, so that means we're going to the historic Quinto Partido. Um, and as you can see, we are going to be playing Wales. Poland and Netherlands are in there as well. Uh, that should be a good one. We don't know the results of the other side yet. But um, yeah, what a really good game that France game was. I'm really happy. Um, hopefully we can do a job against Wales. I'm a little bit surprised the Wales actually managed to make it through, if I'm being bl brutally honest. Um, I thought maybe um, England might have made it through. I think it had um, Wales and USA going through, which is quite funny because... Uh, um, that's blatantly not going to happen in real life, hopefully. Um, so yeah, we're going to face Wales, which is quite cool. Um, don't even remember the last time Mexico played Wales. Um, but it should be a good game anyway. Um, a hell of a lot, I mean, it should be a hell of a lot easier than the France game. Um, but we'll have to wait and see. I think it's a really kind game for the Quinto Partido. I think it's a good chance for us to advance. But obviously, we don't really know what's going to happen. It's the World Cup. Um, anything can happen in the World Cup, so we have to just keep our wits about us, make sure that Gareth Bale, the guy that was just on the ball here, um, hopefully he doesn't do too much damage against us, because, you know, he's a world-class player and he can do uh, a really good job. And there we go, we suffer with the first shot, four minutes in, I'm thinking, okay, cool, um, this is going to be a long game. Um, but yeah, like I said, guys, um, I hope you're enjoying the series so far. Um, I really enjoyed doing this series. As we almost concede again, two shots. I mean, Wales came out firing in this game. Um, they really should have put that one on target, and we really should be one nil down by this point. But um, like I said, I hope you're enjoying this series. I really love doing it. Um, sorry, it's been so long since uh, episode two. I've just been doing work and um, doing my Panini sticker album collection series and. Uh, doing my World Cup um, videos as well for England as well as uh, Mexico and what a first goal to score um, I was a really good goal, a bit, a bit snappy, a bit scrappy um, but you know the goalkeeper got a really good touch on it but um, yeah Gutierrez was not the guy that I thought was going to get this um, get the goal I still can't get over bored Jimenez, I don't know what they did to Raul Jimenez or what he did to FIFA, uh, to FIFA to make what well, EA Sports to make them obliterate his uh, face like that, but um, yeah, Gutierrez is definitely not the guy that I thought was going to score the first goal. But it is what it is, one 0 which is good. Um, in the in tenth minute, so we're having a good start here because obviously Wales came out um, really strong. So I was thinking, okay, cool, you know, it's against the one that play. Wales were doing better than we were, but obviously being one 0 up just gives us a bit of an advantage. But Bale's always going to be a threat, and we just got to make sure that we nullify him. But yeah, going back to what I was saying, guys, I've got a lot of, lot of series is coming out um, at the moment. I'm doing my World Cup reviews for England and, England and Mexico. Um, I'm doing my sticker collections. Um, I've got another jersey video in the works as well. Um, I might be renewing my... Um, my jersey collection series. Um, obviously... Way back when I was doing um, some a series on my collections, obviously I've got Mexico, England, and um, uh, Chivas and Arsenal uh, collections, and I've whoa, what a goal there, guys! That was a really good goal. Um, that's pretty good. I mean, <laughs> it's an Alvarez. I mean, I just I don't know I don't know why my midfielders are scoring all our goals, but um, I'm not complaining. But it's just strange. A uh, really good goal as well, but um, yeah, so I'm going to be updating, releasing new episodes for my jersey collections as well. Um, so keep an eye on that, I'm just trying to um, branch out a little bit and start doing videos about different things. And Because I figured you guys are interested in different things and, um, you know, you might not be into the sticker collections, you might not be into the jersey collections, but you might be inter interested in my review, game reviews and World Cup reviews and all that jazz, so yeah keep an eye out for all those guys but and I've also been doing work and I had COVID for a while about a month ago and um, it all adds up in, in the end and uh, you know time just goes by really quickly but um, 
yeah, I just want to crack on and get this series done because obviously um, we want to move on to different things. I might try and do another series for England maybe. Um, let me know what you guys think of that. Um, and yeah, let's just get straight back into this game guys. So we're on the attack again, obviously, um, you know, Trigger Lozano is doing quite well on that right hand side. I kind of prefer him on the left, but obviously I like Vega on the left more, so uh, yeah, that was a pretty poor corner. I've not really gotten used to doing corners on this game, to be honest with you. Um, but yeah, the goal scorer Alvarez is doing really well there, but obviously he couldn't get his shot past the goalkeeper. That's all good though, to me 2-0 up is pretty good for in half an hour. Pretty much in control of this game anyway. Alvarez, uh, Jimenez did with a really good spin there. Really should have put out a target, but it is what it is. Jimenez still hasn't really done too much for us. Uh, he scored a couple of goals, I guess, but hasn't been uh, prolific, um, to say the least. But um, it is what it is. We've got Chico Lozano and Vega scoring most of our goals anyway. And obviously, um, Guti and Alvarez, our goals from midfield is pretty good. Trying to break down and close down Bale there. Uh, they really should have put that on target. I'm not quite sure how he missed that. But Bale's, Bale's just the biggest threat. I mean, it's undeniable in real life and in this game. Um, he's just you know a world-class player in a team that's frankly not world-class. Um, bit of a heavy touch there from him there, but it's a pretty good um, turn away. But obviously, his passing in this game, I swear, Jimenez just is quite bad in this in this mode um i thought he was all right in the game you know but in this world cup mode he's, Jimenez seems particularly terrible i'm not quite sure whether they just downgraded a lot of his stats because he was injured going into the beginning of the game uh, into in the beginning of the world cup but um we head into the break 2-0 up which is pretty good pretty in a dominant position right now I'm um, not going to make any changes so far, but in, you know, in the 60th-ish minute, we'll bring some players on. As you guys know, we can do five, um, five subs, as well as the extra, well, in real life, we can do the extra, um, what am I trying to say, the concussion uh, sub, but I don't think that's in the game, actually, so. But five subs is more than enough, especially for a World Cup. Um, you can, you know, you can rejuvenate your entire spine of your team. And they go and score an absolutely amazing goal right there. Um, out of nowhere, really. I mean, really good pass. The defenders just both didn't close him down. And he took the shot really quickly, to be fair. But um, that's pretty poor uh, from Dan James there. Uh, but we move on. You know, we've been dominating this game. We've still got a goal... Um, a goal more than they do, so we just got to kind of relax a little bit, not panic a bit too much, try and get another goal just to uh, solidify our position again. But I'm um, really good passing here. Jimenez was in a bit of a decent position. I actually thought he was offside, but again, should have scored. And, and you know, for me, that was just like the, the time for me to take him off and put Sandy Jimenez on. Um, funny enough, I mean, I know you guys have uh, been watching this series, but it's kind of still sad that Sandy Jimenez is not there. I think he'd be the, would have been a really good option off the bench. Bring Godardo on as well, just to get his appearance record. Because um, he's got that now. He's now Mexico's most capped player of all time, overtaking Marquez uh, a couple of weeks ago. So that's pretty cool. Um, yeah, the substitution's going off now. So hopefully Sadi Jimenez can get a bit of... Inject a bit of pace up front now. Uh, Lionel has a good turn there. Really good, but a poor pass. Lionel as well is a bit iffy on this game. Um... I think it's because he's poor form in real life for a club. Um, he does really well for Mexico, in my opinion, but um, for a club, he's been a bit poor since he left Club America, Liga and Mekis. But um, yeah, he's, I mean, he's similar to Antuna, really, in this game, where he's, he's got a lot of pace. His passing is a bit off. He's got a decent shot on him, but his passing is off. And I like my attackers, my wide attackers, to have good passing. Just in case they get into really good positions, especially crossing as well. We're in a really good position here. Hopefully we're looking for Santi in the middle. Um, we're just going to drop it back a bit, pass it back across. And that kind of messed up a little bit. I was, I held on the ball a bit too much with uh, liners there and kind of ran out of place. But um, yeah, still doing all right. Still holding in there. We're just going to make another sub now. Um, obviously... Um, yeah, we make some changes in the midfield, put Pineda in the middle. Um, 
because you know I prefer him in the middle. I prefer him at number ten to be honest, but we don't really have a cam in this formation, so I'll put him at CM. I take Gutierrez off, um, and yeah, we'll just uh, continue and hopefully we can get that third goal and really solidify a win. But what a touch there! But unlucky, Chucky can get past the second defender, but Chucky's always a threat, and he's always a threat. You can never let him get any kind of space in the box because he will punish you for it. So yeah, I pretty much thought this was going to be a lot easier than it turns out to be at this point, guys. Because uh, obviously, one goal is not that much. We've only got to do is score one more goal and go into extra time. But what a breakaway here. And what a good save by the goalkeeper right there, guys. Um, yeah, that's uh, I mean, that's a terrible shot. I mean, that we've got into a really good position. Um, the finishing in this game has been particularly poor, I think. But here they come on another attack. And we've just got... Players in our box are unmarked. We'll give away a corner. I'm thinking, okay, this is going to be a really tough last 10 minutes because, well, last 13 minutes or so. Because, um, yeah, Wales are always a threat. And, you know, we're getting to the point now where all they need is a, is a, a lucky goal or a gifted goal. And suddenly we're looking at another half an hour's worth of extra time and our players getting more and more tired. Um, I'm not sure how many substitutions we've got left. I think we've got one maybe left. Um, but we're just going to try and hold on to this win at the moment, guys. Because guys, because uh, we are still winning. We are in a good position. But Chico Lozano is going to run all the way here, guys. Because obviously he's so pacey. But he is a bit knackered now. Uh, we're just going to knock it across. And then who else but Sandy Jimenez to score what could well be the game-winning go uh, goal. And, uh, you know, the Quinto Partido, Mexico can be looking to get into the quarterfinals for the first time, I think, in like 20 years, 20 or 30 years. So, um, this could be a historic goal, um, and it's Sandy Jimenez that does it. Ho ho I mean, I, he's going to be amazing in 2026. Let's just put it out there right now. Uh, you know, once Tata Martino leaves, the next coach is for sure going to be doing the generational, generational shift. Um, players like Sandy Jimenez is going to become uh, one of the players that I think this team is going to be um, based around. Um, but what a goal there, guys. And obviously, we've got about, I don't know, 11 minutes left. Uh, we just want to hold on. Hopefully, there's not 17 minutes of extra time because obviously, in real life, that the extra time is just ridiculous. Um, but there isn't. There's only been two, two minutes, which is pretty cool. Uh, we just can't seem to get that final pass right. It's so similar to the, the first, you know, the real team. This is the first team, you know, where they can't get their final pass right. But um, yeah, the, going into the semi finals, guys. Obviously, the Quinto Partido, the uh, quarter finals, we win 3 1 against Wales, which is amazing. Um, we're in the semi finals, guys, for the first time in God knows how long. Uh, super good. Um, we're playing. Looks like we're playing Netherlands as well. I um, don't know about the Germany, Brazil or the Japan and Serbia games. Um, hopefully, you know, if we can beat Netherlands, we get Japan or Serbia. That would be pretty cool. Um, but yeah, I mean, this squad's fully fit. I mean, I'm not going to change anything. I'm just going to go straight into it, guys. The Netherlands, I mean, it's a really tough, uh, tough team. Uh, they're not as tough as they used to be. Um, no, I think, I can't remember what they got in real life uh, but they, they struggle I think they struggle up top they don't really have an out and out striker Gakpo is obviously really good for them Delict at the back is really good for them um, yeah so it should be an interesting game um, it's a tough game I'll probably I would say not the toughest I think I think we've, I think the France game is tougher uh, but this game in the semi-finals you know nerves are going to kick in and um, you never really know what's going to happen so we just got to enjoy it the fact that we're in the semi-final which is amazing um, and we're just going to kick it off and try and control the game try and keep possession try and always attack um, get Jimenez uh, involved try and get Lozano and Vega involved trying to get the early goal so if we can score first I think like similar to Wales I think we can control it better um, but we just got to make sure that we're clinical and we weren't really that clinical against Wales Funnily enough, even though we scored three, I, I, just, I think we could have been a lot more clinical. Uh, but Dumfries is going to come down here on the right hand side. Um, and then, wow, look at that, guys. That was such a very, very, very close um, 
Shot and Ochoa again, just saving our ass all the time. Um, like three really, really good saves, I think it was in that sequence. So, and the post as well helping us out. But yeah, that was like the first eight minutes or so. And you know, that's a massive test of taste of what our game's going to be like. And we've got to make sure that we're on it defensively um, and try and score and punish them as much as we can. Um, but we're going to try and do that anyway, guys. We're going to try and get Chigalizana involved. Um, obviously, Dumfries is quite a decent, strong defender. Um, so. He's going to have a bit of a battle with Lozano today. Gakpo as well. Depay. Um, you know, they've got a really good front three. Um, except for the fact that they don't, for me, they don't have a, like a real striker. And I think that lets them down. Um, Depay with the shot there. Ochoa as well with the save. I think he's got like five saves in this game already in 17 minutes. which was just outrageously crazy. Um, but we're going to hang in there, hang in there, guys. And we're going to try and... Um, we're going to try and, you know, stay in this game as much as we can. So we're always going to keep trying to play out from the back, even though it nearly cost us there. Um, but I trust our midfielders. I think our midfielders is, midfield is pretty good. Um, starting with Alvarez, I think Alvarez is going to make a big move in the summer, I think. Maybe even in January. Um, no, he very nearly went to Chelsea. But, um... Yeah, I like our midfield. I think our midfield is strong, especially against this Netherlands team. Um, we just got to make sure we stay compact, and our defence um, has to be on it today. I mean, I'm, you know, we've been tested a few times already, and it's not even half an hour in yet. Um, we need to stop giving the ball away so much as well. Um, the less they have the ball of the ball, the less of a threat they are. But that's a lucky bounce. I'm not quite sure what happened there. Um, but Achara is always going to make that kind of save. But yeah, so it's pretty much just back and forth at the moment, guys. Just trying to, each team trying to probe the other, um, trying to find a weak spot. Um, you know, getting to the half hour mark, you know, we've done all right. I think, you know, if we score now, it will be against the run of play. I think the Netherlands have been slightly better. They've had the better chances, that's for sure. Um, the post helped us out really well there, and the was making a really good, smart double save um, we should really I think be one nil down but we're not we're still in there so we're just going to try and make sure we punish them because obviously we want to get our revenge on Netherlands because obviously the no error for now in the 2014 World Cup um, pretty unlucky there I think I should have shot with them um, I think it was uh, Chico Lozano should have shot there but I said I tried to cut it past and obviously it didn't work it's always embarrassing when that doesn't come off um, but yeah, we want to get revenge for the no error for now in the 2014 World Cup when um, Robin dived and got them a penalty. Um, that would be sweet as well. Obviously, Chigalizano now cutting in. He should have moved, I think. Um, but no, it is what it is. Um, but yeah, we're starting to get a little bit more of an attacking threat going on. We're starting to get into their box a bit more. We're starting to get some more shots off. Um, but they are always going to attack us. They're always going to be right there ready to go for attacking wise and uh, Jimenez keeps doing those three balls and it just doesn't come off um but it is what it is we're going to the uh, half time now nil nil which i think overall is a fair result um obviously they they had that really good start really good start and really should have been one nil up but we'll take it and obviously you know big half coming up now every single player getting a little bit more tired now. The pie is quite tired as well, so that's pretty good. Um, but we're just gonna do what we're gonna do. Uh, just keep trying to probe them. Um, maybe bring on some, I think maybe Jimenez and <clears throat> some other players off the bench. Maybe Linus might come on and do some damage. Um, getting a bit of a difficulty here. Managed to make a really good tackle there with uh, Montez, uh, which is good because they could have quite easily scored there. Um, but yeah, they're going to be a constant goal threat and we just need to make sure that we handle it and uh, luckily we have Ochoa who's the best goalkeeper in the world apparently so um, yeah, we're just going to keep trying guys and hopefully um, you know, we manage to get that all important goal. So yeah, we're not doing too much attacking wise. I figured, you know, We'll make a little bit of a change. Um, try to probably get Jimenez off him. This has a, had a pretty terrible game. So we're going to just freshen things up a little bit. Uh, I didn't want to take Tricky or Vega off. So we're not going to bring Linus off for a while. 
Um, but yeah, maybe Santa Jimenez. Oh, that was a big foul there. <laughs> the def <laughs> that was just the their Netherlands player just absolutely just jumped. That's quite funny. <clears throat> um, but yeah, no, just kind of get some speed into our attack. Jimenez was just not having a really good game, but hopefully Santa can. Um, and like I said, I didn't want to take my wingers off. I think my wingers have been alright, although that was a terrible pass. Um, but yeah, getting to an hour mark, still nil nil, starting to get a little bit worried because obviously, you know, we want to be controlling games by this point and we, we're not at the moment. And uh, because Netherlands are such a goal threat, even though they don't have, a, like a, a, for me, a, a decent number nine, um, they're always a threat. So, you know, they can get a goal out of nothing and we just got to be mindful of that. Um, and try and make sure that we can punish them when we can. Try and make sure each pass counts, even though we keep losing the ball. Um, but it's pretty much just back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Just trying to find a weakness. Both teams finding a weakness. Both teams looking for the uh, the slip up defensively and looking for a, a, a bad pass. Um, but trying to get into a decent position here Vega obviously getting into a really good position having a really good shot but obviously um, their goalkeeper is up for it but we're going to try and make a couple more changes now um, I think we're going to take Vega off but Lino's on just eject a little bit more pace into the team you know, try and stretch their tired defenders um, but that's pretty much it for um, substitutions hopefully this will be well, this will work out in our favour. Um, Gallardo is going to take this corner. That uh, doesn't really do well. But like I said, I'm not very good at corners, so it's not really him. It's me. Um, yeah, it's just getting a little bit panicky, a little bit nervy now, guys. Obviously, we want to get, get that all important goal. Cause it looks, it looks like now that whoever scores first is probably going to win the game. Um, so we just got to make sure. It's kind of, kind of crazy because you want to get a good goal, but you also want to uh, make sure you don't lose your defensive shape. So you kind of want to attack more, but also don't leave yourself exposed. Um, it's kind of, uh, yeah, it's kind of nervy, but here Chucky's going to get try and get in behind the defence, but obviously uh, Dumfries and Co is um, up to it at the moment. Chucky's been a bit quiet this game. Vega's been a bit quiet as well. Um, Vega had that one shot just before he got subbed, um, but apart from that they haven't really done anything, um, so that's, I'm hoping that Lainez's speed, but Lainez's passing is just terrible, um, but he's got really good speed and really good dribbling, so what I wanted to do is try and get Lainez into a position where we could just run, and, but yeah, that's a, that's a really good play by the Netherlands there, I think I was convinced that that was going to end up in a goal. Um, we're just going to spice up um, the defence a bit, get Moreno off for Vazquez, um, just to bulk up the defence a little bit, give the defence a little bit more um, stamina, because Moreno is just quite low there. Uh, both working hard, to be fair, Moreno, he's done a really good job defensively this game. Um, Jorge Sanchez trying to just push the ball a bit forward a bit, Santa Jimenez with a beautiful touch. And I don't know what happened there, man. That should have been a goal. That should have been straight through. And then that pass hasn't got messed up. We would have been straight in there and scored that goal. But um, it is what it is. We're getting to like the last two minutes now. Um, starting to get a little bit panicky. Just wanted to get that goal. Don't really want to go to extra time because obviously it knackers our players out a bit more. Um, yeah, Lainez. Just first time I was managing to get a decent dribble with. Uh, Line as it didn't really lead anything to, uh, unfortunately. But we're just going to go for an attack. Really good spin there by Lainez. Just try and get the ball into the box. Um, what a save. What a save. What a goal that would have been. That would have been the last kick of the game. Like a typical. Um, so yeah guys, it is going to be nil nil, And it's going to go into extra time. I am going to leave it for now and go and show you the rest of the game in the next episode. So take care and come back soon because, uh, yeah, the extra time is going to be eventful. And uh, hopefully we can get that win. Hopefully we can don't need to go to penalties. And, um, yeah, we'll get a bit of a decent run in at the final. So, yeah, take it easy, guys. Thanks for watching so much. I really appreciate it. Give some love in the comments. And uh, I'll see you guys very soon for the next episode. Adios. Artlist.io